A poor start against talented opposition would prove ever so costly when the Dockers met Adelaide at Subiaco in round four. 28 points down at half-time, the Dockers would fight back valiantly after a hat-trick of goals to Polak, Pavlic and Farmer. His eighth for the season. Carr over the footy, squeezes back to McManus. Black. Crow's defence hanging tough, quick kick from Pavlic to the front of the square. He's struggled in front of goals in the past, but from 25 metres you would think he'd be able to poke it through. And he has, and a much needed goal. Ball spills to the front, and every time Adelaide have got a fist on it, they've had men front and centre. Oh. Well, it's come straight back now. Here's Farmer. This time he's on his feet. This time he's slapped home the goal. It's kicked a mongrel. It's been a nice start, though, by the Dockers, because they keep getting the ball. This time, Hazelby bangs it back. Man standing there is Polak, and he's got it. So Polak for his second, and such an important kick. He sneaks it through. Reflex give is a good one to Carr. He wants someone to run for him. And the biggest man on the ground does. Sandilands has that for a pass. Well, he's showing him how to do it. McFarlane turns around and hits Pavlich. Just what the Dockers would need. The first two goals of the second half, never in doubt. And they get it back. Lovely tap from Longmuir. Releases McManus. Swings back onto his right short pass, Farmer. Competition between Rashido and Grover. Grover just looked quicker across the ground. Farmer kicks the goal. The Dockers three in a row in the third turn. He's played on because he worked right around the mark and he's buggered it right up. And then, oh, the umpire's gone down, completely floored by Polak. Just when he was about to blow the whistle, the umpire is down in a spot of bother. It's umpire, umpire Nichols. Kieran Nichols. Now, he was the first umpire, if I remember rightly, who Todd Curley ran into. He's got the cool Ben Hart right next to him and kicks it long. Here comes Perry. And great courage shown by McFarlane. He's flat on the ground after Perry came. Perry's done his knee, I think, there. He has come in. Here's the replay. Ooh, and that would have hurt both players. Perry's in trouble. Called for the stretch. Umpire hasn't seen it yet. And the and the uh, the cart is on the ground while the game's still going. They brought the motorised cart on while the game's still in play. And something better if they could get a score they get a goal or is it touched umpire's going to signal a goal dockers are still in it monday forced to spoil now he goes to the grab over the top of riley gee you can play hazelby heard a voice out the back of his park mcmanus is still on his own on the scoreboard wink and get it and go and josh carr is on the forward 50. mcmanus has got to find him he does stretches Right boot, not his preferred. Kicks into the pocket. 35,000. They're hushed. They need it. He provides it! Um, it was a missed opportunity from our point of view. You know, we were outplayed convincingly, particularly in the first quarter, with key components to our game, and they're things we can rectify, and we will rectify. Um, but it's four points gone missing, and it's going to be a very close competition. An 11-point loss, Farmer and Polak each with three goals, while McManus, Shammer and Farmer were the standouts. McManus, Farmer, improvising, Graham's in the road. Chips Back to York Park, this time some...